Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will try to talk about the angles of triangles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So our main purpose here is to solve for the missing angles of each given triangle. So we will try to apply different concepts to solve for the missing angles. So let's have these four given triangles and let's start with this one. So we are asked to find what is the measurement of this angle? And basically, yung simple concept na gagamitin natin dito is that we need to remember that in any given triangle, the sum of the three angles is equal to 180 degrees. Meaning, to solve this one, so this is the proper way, we will add them, that is x plus 70 degrees plus 35 degrees and all of them are equal to 180 degrees. To find x, add this to 70 plus 35, that is 105 degrees, plus x is equal to 180 degrees. Then to solve for x, transpose this 105 to the other side, so that is x is equal to 180 degrees minus 105 degrees and get the difference from these two angles 180 degrees minus 105 your x or the measurement of this angle is simply 75 degrees and this is the value of the missing angle in triangle number one now let's continue with triangle number two in triangle number two we can also apply the concept that we use in the example number one. But as you can see, there are two missing angles. Pero yung isa dito, madali lang makuha. Okay? As you can see, meron tayo dito markings that this side is congruent to this side. Meaning, this side is, is has the same length of this one. And if you apply natin yung concept about isosceles triangle, because this one is isosceles triangle, if this side and this side are congruent, meaning its opposite angles are also congruent. This angle is opposite to this one. This angle or this side is opposite to this angle, meaning this one is also 68 degrees. Okay? So what we need here is to solve for the variable x. Add them all. x is equal to. Or we will try to use the shortcut. We will try to subtract these two angles from 180. So we have 180 degrees minus the sum of 68 and 68. That is 136. 136 degrees. Okay? Because we will transpose the sum of these two, which is 136. Then your x is equal to how many? How many? 44 degrees. This is the measurement of this missing angle. Okay? Now let's move on with number 3. For number 3, uh, we cannot use here the measure... Um, oh, we can use this concept. Pero much better to use the exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle theorem states that to find the missing or the exterior angle of any triangle, simply add those interior angles na hindi, kung, hindi adjacent sa ating exterior angle. As you can see, we have this angle and this angle. To find this measurement, all we need to do is to add these two. So we have x is equal to 88 degrees plus 39 degrees. So your x is equal to sum of these two, which is how many? 80 plus 30 is 110. Then 8 plus 9 is 17, meaning this is 127 degrees. This is the value of x. Okay, again, to find the measurement of this exterior angle, add this two, and then that is the measurement of it. Okay, so let's move on with next one. Okay, now, 
how are we going to solve for the x? So in this case, I will try to solve first the variable y because it's simpler compared to x. Your y can be solved using the linear pair because this two, this, this angle, and this 120 forms a linear pair. And linear pair, or the angles forming a linear pair, are supplementary. So what we need to do, so I will subtract 120 from 180. So your y is simply 60 degrees. As simple as that. Now for the variable x naman, since this one is already 60, so we will use the concept that we used here in number 1. So that is x degree, a proper way tayo, x plus 60 degree plus the 50 degree angle, that is equal to 180 degrees. Add this to your x plus 110 degrees, is equal to 180 degrees. Transpose this to the other side, okay, that is x is equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. And as you can see, subtracting them, it will give us the answer of 70 degrees. This is the answer for the variable x in the last triangle. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to calculate for the missing angle of a given triangle. If you're into my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher gone. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!